my gosh, I got accepted. Yay! Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. Yep, that was me. And it could be you too. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sophia. I just graduated from Washington University in St. Louis and was accepted into medical school for the class of 2028, which I will be starting in two weeks. Medical school application season was one of the most difficult and most painful things I've ever had to experience. So I wanted to do a quick recap on my medical school applications with helpful tips and insight on primaries, secondaries, interviews, and stay until the end to find out where I committed and where I will be spending my next four years. So here's a quick rundown. I applied to 35 schools, submitted secondaries to 31 of those, was invited to interview at 14 of those, which culminated in six acceptances, six waitlists, plus one interview I did not attend, and one rejection. <laughs> For my stats, I did go to WashU, which at one point was a T20, and I had a 4.0 GPA with a 522 MCAT. So for primary, so I applied right after my junior year and the application cycle lasted throughout my entire senior year, basically. I did apply through AMCAS, which is the American system, as well as a Texas specific system, TMDSAS, because I am a Texas resident. I applied to the following 27 schools through AMCAS and I applied to eight TMDSAS schools, which are gonna be displayed now. I started drafting my personal statement, which is a huge part of the primary application during my junior year. And then as soon as AMCAS and TMDSAS allowed you to open up an account, I created one and started just inputting all of my information. So the information that goes into your primaries in addition to your personal statement are your personal information, parent information, coursework, extracurriculars, and a bunch of miscellaneous things. And I put all of these things in as soon as I could. So the first day the application opened, I put everything into there and then I was just basically waiting until you could submit. And for TMDSAS, this was like May 15th, and for AMCAS, it was like May 30th. In the morning of the first day that you could submit, I submitted. So I just wanted to get things done as soon as I could, because the earlier you submit, the better your chances are of getting an interview, and the better your chances are of getting accepted. The processing time for me was actually pretty quick because I think I was in the first round of applications that were processed and I didn't have any mistakes that I had to go back and redo, which was another time saver in getting my application to my schools. I will be trying to post my complete AMCAS and TMDSAS applications on my channel in another video, so if you don't want to miss that, make sure to subscribe. So I received secondaries from all of the schools that I submitted primaries to, but I ended up not submitting four of my secondaries. Three of these were through AMCAS, so I didn't submit to Brown because of their tendency to pick their own students and I thought I wasn't gonna have a chance. And I didn't submit to Dartmouth or Cleveland Clinic because they didn't seem like good fits. Uh, I think it was just too cold for me. And I didn't submit my Texas Tech El Paso secondary through TMDSAS because of the location as well. In hindsight, I definitely should have done my research ahead of time and then I could have saved about $100 on the primary applications. So don't be like me. 31 secondaries is a lot to write and so I heavily recommend pre-writing. I started pre-writing the semester before I applied which was my junior year second semester and I made sure to take a very light course load because pre-writing was basically like taking another three credit class. I found all of my school's prompts from previous years on SDN and I just went off of those for my pre-writing. For the most part they didn't change, some of them did change and that was annoying if I had already pre-written it but in the end it was okay because for a lot of my essays I was able to reuse writing anyways. As with primaries, I highly recommend submitting as soon as you can. So I tried to have all of my writing done before I even got the secondary invite. So as soon as I got the secondary, I could copy and paste my answers in and then submit on the day that I received it. If I did have to spend a little bit more time because they weren't completely done, I did try to have them done within three days. Definitely just try to turn them in as soon as you can. Honestly, I have no idea how much writing actually matters to the schools. There didn't seem to be a correlation in how much effort and time I spent on a secondary versus whether I got an interview or acceptance at the school. And actually there were schools that I ended up getting in interview invite to and I went back and reread what I had written in my secondaries and there were typos and really bad writing in them so I don't really know what that's supposed to mean. I do know that the earlier you turn in your secondaries, higher the chance of you getting an interview and then being accepted is. And I think that is 100% part of the reason I got so many interviews and was ultimately accepted this cycle. 
Out of my 31 secondaries submitted, I was able to get 14 interview invites from these schools. Texas schools have an earlier timeline, and so I started interviewing for those at the beginning of August. All of my interviews were online on Zoom, and I just took them in my college apartment. You should do all of the tips people online tell you to do. Wear a blazer, have an empty wall as your background, get a cheap microphone off of Amazon, have good lighting that comes to the front of your face, raise your camera to eye level, so I just stacked a bunch of books under my laptop until my webcam was where my eyes were. Always be smiling. If you have a unique hobby that can easily be shown on camera, so I like to do crafting and I made a few rugs, I like to have those beside me during my interview, so if my interview asked me, what do you do for fun? I could be like, I like to make rugs, and then show them one of the rugs that I made. Most of my interviews were in the traditional format, I think three of them were in the MMI format. To prep for interviews, you can find the prompts for specific schools on SDN, and I also went through WashU to do some mock interviews. And if you guys want more tips, I can make another video on that. Personally, I think interviews matter way more than writing, and I could see a very clear and direct correlation between the interviews I thought I did good in and expressed myself well, versus the interviews where I was very unprepared and just did not articulate myself very clearly with the schools that I ended up being accepted, waitlisted, or rejected at. The one school whose interview I did not end up attending was Albert Einstein, and this was because I had already been accepted to a school that I would rather go to than Albert Einstein, and so it didn't seem fair to take that opportunity from someone else if I already knew that I wasn't gonna go. But then, I don't know if you guys heard, but Albert Einstein is giving free tuition to all of their students, and that announcement came just a few weeks after I decided not to do my interview, and so I did have a little bit of regret in not going to my interview, but in the end, it worked out okay. I have committed to the school that I would have gone to even if I had gone free tuition at Albert Einstein, so all good. Now for my results! So my one rejection was from UT Southwestern, and that was a school that I wasn't very passionate about going into my interview, and so I definitely was less prepared. Ultimately, it wasn't devastating to me when I was rejected. The six schools I received waitlists at were Baylor, Cornell, Northwestern, Wash U, UPenn, and Vanderbilt. I did opt not really to remain on any of these waitlists because I had already been accepted to the best school that I could have possibly been accepted to, and so there was no point in me spending more effort in submitting application updates or anything Thing like that. I'm not sure if any of these would have turned into acceptances, but it doesn't really matter to me. And finally for my acceptances, I was accepted to Dell Medical School, Texas Tech at Lubbock, McGovern Medical School in Houston, and Long at UT Southwestern, as well as UC San Diego and Columbia. I did commit to Columbia. Columbia was literally my dream school going into my application cycle, and I Literally just could not believe that I was accepted. I'm so excited for the next four years. I can't wait to move to New York City, and I can't believe it's happening all so soon. I can't wait to share with you guys the next phase of my life. I'm so grateful for all the opportunities that have led me to this point. I started doing some consulting this summer for WashU students who want to learn all the tips and tricks for being pre-med at WashU, as well as general pre-med advice for non-WashU students, and especially for students applying to medical schools right now. You can find a lot more information on my website, which is linked below. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below what else you think I should make a video on. I did change my Instagram username. It's now at x. XO Sophia XU. I just like the way it looked better than my old one. So follow me there if you're interested. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!